What's up everybody, Sparewood Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Zeppelin project in Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off, we had finished the balloon section of the exterior and started work on the inside and got pretty much all of the turbines, turbines, thrusters and power cells and all of those doodads hooked up. Um, for those of you that may have missed last episode, I'll go ahead and give you a peek. There's a lot of stuff going on here, so much that it actually dropped my frames by about 10 uh, when I added all these things. So today, I think we're going to start working on the actual cockpit, um, which is something I've wanted to work on for a while. So we're going to change up the blocks a little bit. I want a lot more windows for this. Um, I'm not really sure what exactly I want to do with this, to be honest, as far as like... I don't know if I want it to be accurate or functional or just neat looking, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, most importantly, I don't know where I want to put it. Um, I think this is a good little marker, actually, now that I'm looking at it. We'll put a block there and put a block like there. And that will give us kind of our marker. Um, and I know I have the cutout here for um, going inside the little balloon. That's fine. Um, I have a few ideas. Now, part of my problem here is I want to do something a little bit different. Um, how do I explain this? Like, kind of like something like this, maybe. I want it to look like the cockpit is kind of floating, but attached. If that makes sense. Um, so, I want to do something like this, maybe. I wanted it to actually be at an angle and come down, but I don't know how to do that with the set of blocks that are available. So I didn't end up doing that. But I wanted to, because I thought that would look really cool, having like kind of a rope look holding it together. Um, and I kind of want to do some detail work on this eventually too. I think that would be cool. Oops. How many did I come down? Okay. So like that. Now where are you? Here over here. So let's go ahead and put this like so. How many did I come down? I know I keep doing that. Two. Okay. And this will kind of I, I think this will look cool. Um, because it'll kind of give it that suspended look that it's not actually attached to the, the balloon part that doesn't really look like a balloon at all, but, you know, what are, what are you going to do? Um, like that. There we go. Um, now, I guess the next logical step is to frame this in. And this doesn't necessarily have to be the exact dimensions of the cockpit. Um, but see, at least this way, when you fly over here and you look at it, it kind of gives it a little bit of a suspended look type of thing. So it won't look um, like the balloon is just part of the ship. It'll actually look like there's there are two separate pieces, which I think would be cool. Okay. So now, <laughs> to be honest, the rest of this part I have not really planned out yet. Although, I'm looking at this, what if we did something along this line? What if we did that? And did... Hmm, maybe like these? Not really how I meant to roll it, but that's fine. 
something like this. Now, granted, you'll have the... Um... Yeah. Mm-hmm. That thing. <laughs> you'll have the little corner piece here, but... Yeah. I was thinking I might be able to use these four blocks to fix that, but then it might look off. I don't know. Yeah, like that. Yeah, that wouldn't work. So we won't do that. Okay, that's better. But I think this would work a little bit better. It would give it a little bit more of a curved look. Which is fitting. Don't ask me why it's fitting. <laughs> I just babble when I don't know what to say. Um, okay, I must have started over there. better. I don't particularly like how the corner sticks out, but I don't really know how else I would do that, so I'm kind of thinking we're stuck with it that way, to be honest. It doesn't look bad, it just it looks a little bit like it. there's not much hanging on to it or holding it there, but uh, that could work to our advantage later. I'm going to fill this in for now so we can put like interior lights and things such as that. Do I want the reflectors yet? No, I don't. What I do want... Let's grab some of these. These pillars. They might come in handy. Um... Okay, so now what we need to do is I want hmm I want to use these angle windows to be honest because I think that would look cool I really 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 wish they had a corner window that would be pretty epic This is not going to work, is it? Even if I flip this, I don't think it'll work. Not like that. Um, yeah. I was afraid that would happen. Okay, well... Hmm. Nuts. I was really hoping that wouldn't be the case. Because I really don't have a solution for that, to be honest. I wanted it to be beveled the whole way down. Um, but I don't think we can make that happen without a corner window. Unless... Maybe we can. Alright, so just bear with me. If we do something like this, can we just put a corner block here? Ah! There we go. Actually, hold on. If that's the case, why not make this a little bit wider, then? Oh, because it kind of needs a roof, doesn't it? Well, hold on. I might have a solution for that. What if we did... Like so. Right? And then... Did... These window panes. No. Why can I never get these things to flip the way that I want them to? Can I not do this? Will this not work? Hmm. What if it was like... No. Darn. Huh. Well. That's disappointing. 
So I guess we'll have to do it this way. Oh well. We try. We try. But it was important to me to get the the bottom with having a lot of windows because a lot of kind of that signature style for the Zeppelins, especially in like steampunk and stuff, um, had a lot of windows. Which I found to be particularly a cool feature. Is that where I need it? Yes. Okay. So I wanted to do that from the get-go. Now, all right, we may have a bit of an issue here in a minute with the floor because me and my brilliant self didn't take into account the fact that if I put these blocks, they're just gonna take up the whole floor. Awesome. Didn't think that one through. Um, this is a neat effect, though. I really like this. Could we... Okay, we could do this, but then we can't st stack anything on top of it, so that's not going to work either. <sighs> what about this guy? Can I build off of you? And put... that work? Hmm. Don't do that. What I'm debating right now is if I want to extend this by one and then do a flooring. Kind of like this. Um. But I don't think yeah, that's what I, that right there is what I was afraid of. Okay. Um, are these attached to anything? Or, no, they're just floating. Darn. Okay. So if we did... Pillar... I'm thinking we'll make up for... Width space with floor space, if that makes sense. Um, four. So, if we put one like here and here, maybe. <sighs> would that, that, I'm not sure, would look very good at all. Um, poopers. Poop, poop, poop. Okay. So, that's a no. See, this is kind of the stuff that I was concerned about, that I wanted to do a certain look with it, but I wasn't sure if I could get it to work right or not with the blocks available. Um, I mean, you could always put, you know, block like this, but then that kind of throws off the... Oh! Oh, hold on. Hold, hold on. Hmm. Okay, that's probably not going to work anyway. Darn. Nothing is working. Because um, if I put block like this, then that's exposed, which doesn't really help anyone. Um, and if I put a solid block there, like this, then there's really no point in having these windows here at all. <sighs> Darn. So what to do, what to do. Take a poo. Um, 
because I really need this block here, and then I could just do these guys like this, and then centered it, and it would have been fine. This sucks. Okay, um, well, gotta make lemonade out of lemons. Oops, should have seen that coming. So if I put a block there, that just looks terrible. I really don't know what to do here with this corner shape. Um... Alright, so how could we get... Assuming we don't do that, I need to get this, like, down further somehow. Because if... this is my problem right here. That if I just do something like this, then you end up with this. That looks... weird. But if you do curves, like the two shape, the corners, um, then there's no... Um, proper corner situation to work with. So, because even, alright, even if I did this and rotated it, it's still going to not fill that in, which is the whole point that I need. Darn. Hmm. This is a real pickle. I actually have no idea how to fix this. These are the only blocks I can think of. But they won't really fix the problem. They kind of make it worse, actually, because they should be further up. Or further back, I mean, if I was going to use them. Because... Like, then that won't even work. Oops. I just put a hole in the ship. All right, I gotta rethink this. Because a floor is kind of necessary. Just a little bit. Hmm. I could, I wonder, I wonder if I could just go off of this directly. It wouldn't give the suspended look as much. Oh! No, 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 no! I got this! You know what we could do? Is go off of this. Oh, that still means there's no ceiling, though. Darn. And it still doesn't help because the design is the same. Dang it, man. <sighs> Why does everything have to be so square? I really just need a corner window. That's that's what I need. I need a block like this that's a window that I could put right, right here. Not that that would actually help now that I'm looking at it. Hmm. <sighs> okay, well, this sucks. I think... Hmm. What if we went the less traditional route? And did something like this. And then just... broke two of these. 
Because see, the problem with this idea is that you can walk... Oh, I just realized there's no gravity in this ship yet. That's something I need to put up there. You can walk in this, but you can't like a cockpit. I can't place anything now because these are considered the blocks. So if you remove a couple, it still wouldn't help. Dag nabbit. Nothing is working. Ah. All right. We got to figure something out. Something has got to give. I need this to go down another layer is the big problem here. That's really the big issue. Um, so I guess I don't really have a choice. We're going to have to put blocks here. Which means we can either... I think I'm leave those windows for the outside, even though they don't really do anything. No. Um... And then, and then, we'll put this type of a shape. And go all the way down. Like so. There we go. And then drag this down. Like so. So that's probably the best we're going to get it, to be honest, um, with that design. Which doesn't look bad. Um, it does not look bad. And then for now, I need a hole in here to get in so that I can work. Um, whoa. Oh, right. Um, gravity. That would be a good thing, wouldn't it? Um, <clears throat> let's... We don't want to block the front. Let's put... Actually, you know what? We'll put those... Um, in the balloon. I'm sure there's a... Sp Really? Can I not get out of my own stupid ship? Let me out. Out. Gosh, sometimes the mechanics of this are a little derpy. They may be accurate, like if they're trying to be a simulation or whatever, but they're just weird sometimes. I'm gonna put two gravity things right there. Um... And another gyro right there. And then let's grab this again. And go back out. And actually, I think I'll just close this because I really don't need it there anymore. So now we should actually have a gravity situation. Whoa! Which is apparently very powerful and don't fall out of the ship. Um, but I think I'm going to end this here, and then we'll work on some more interior of the cockpit, as well as some propellers and other doodads and details. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!